more. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Houston's gone three or three from deep. Nine points run up from outside here in the first. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. One guy who's been getting it done is Zilk. He's been absolutely on fire from outside. He got to get into his jersey, get up into him, force him to pass or drop. Kyrie Irving is checked in for Silk. On defense, the Cavaliers. McDaniels kicks to Brewer. There's the dish to McDaniels. Capella, the pass to McDaniels. Here's Brewer. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Brewer's got his first points in this one. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. No kidding. I mean, neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time, guys. So Ex close. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Terrible. And again, the Rockets good for two. Cavaliers trailing. LeBron dishes to Thompson. Irving for three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Irving's got five minutes. They just continue to splash home those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Absolutely. You cannot allow a team to have that kind of a rhythm from beyond. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. Again, the Cavaliers score. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Beats it, and he goes in for the dunk. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And the second player taken in the 2008 draft, Michael Beasley out of Kansas State, has been the ultimate wild card. Incredibly high expectations from him. At one time, he was the best high school player in the country. But now, you know, Greg, in his eighth season, bounced around a little bit. You wonder if he will ever fulfill that great potential. You know, you could argue he's the best player in college that one year yes, at Kansas yes. State. I mean, unstoppable score and, and rebounder on the collegiate level. And, and he's shown flashes, but that's the one thing about this level. So much of the game is mental. And not everybody's equipped to handle the responsibility of being a great player. Excellent point. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And thinking about Michael Beasley's career now, he did have a breakout season in 10 and 11 with the Timberwolves. It was enough to land him a three-year, $18 million contract with the Suns a couple of years ago. Arrow seemed to be pointing up, but then things headed south quickly. Silks checked in for J.R. Smith. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Monte Yunus has checked in for K.J. McDaniel. Pass to Silk. It's tipped. Stolen by Terry. The open shot by Brewer, and Houston again with the bucket. And for last season, it was really just a victory for Beasley to get back in the league. I mean, did not start the season on any team. No doubt he has the skills, but something needs to happen for him in order to stick. And they're pushing it up. It's down the breakaway slam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket, and don't let them set up the defense. The shot's good from Carter. And from three-point range, guys, he has hit the ground running in the first quarter. It's Terry outside, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. How about five of six? to start. Looks like he brought his A game. Irving kicks to James. Irving passes to Thompson. Here's Silk. James outside. Five to shoot. Here's Silk. No good on the triple. And there's Terry. That misses, would have kind of had it gone in. And Out 
the second quarter getting ready to start up. And guys with the Rockets, what jumps out to you from a number standpoint? It's all about the depth, really. The bench has been the difference. The bench play really has separated these two teams. Yeah, it's been a huge advantage for them. That bench has really made a nice contribution. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. Everly and Harden near the backcourt. Modi and is now with the post pair, and it's a reason. And at the three, the small four. Back to back threes for him. Defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or she'll give up points in a hurry. Boy, he is such a ridiculous dunk. High riser, oh, no doubt my about it. Goodness, I mean, you come to expect plays like that from him, and folks, that never gets old. Here's Silk following the score by Houston. A three from LeBron. Another three for Cleveland. Houston's got a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game. Here's Beverly. Takes it off the glass. Beverly's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor with their offense in the paint because that has not been up to par. Here's Silk, stolen by Beverly. Dishes it to Monte Unis. Floats one up. Kicks to Howard. And some nice passing there by Houston. 